so this would be the phase two uh, and beyond version of the tricep push down. Simply, we're adding a three second pause at the bottom of each rep. Um, it should really just accentuate the traction there, so it really feels it and know what should be doing uh, the work. So this is just a real isolated single joint movement for the tricep. So when it gives grip on the inside of the bar there, you can use the straight bar, that's fine, just make sure you don't go too wide. The knuckles again should be uh, in line, basically with that shoulder there. So looking for the front, so it's not too wide. If he has that bar, it's hard to mess up with this one. So uh, I like the narrow grip there. It's a nice natural angle with the elbow and the tricep there. So um, thumbs around the bar, elbows are tucked tight. He has his hips back, high strong position there. So lean back a little more just to make this a little, a little aggressive. He's got a good, exceptional angles and postural positions here for being uh, well-developed and stronger. Most people are not going to hold it so well like him. So I want to exaggerate this a bit with the hips back and lean down, rock the chest. His chest is over the bar there, if you see from the side. That's going to give him a nice angle to where his triceps can fully contract. Most people end up behind the bar and they don't, they get blocked by the legs and their tricep, their elbows stay soft and they never fully engage the triceps. Likewise, the scapula will be opened up a bit if he's forward there and the in internal insertion of that tricep is on the scapula there. So if you do not have him pull back, you not fully engage the tricep. You gotta make sure he's locked and tight there. And none of that shoulder popping out, shoulders back and down, hips back as much as possible and then lean forward into it. There you can see he's getting a nice angle and nice hard squeeze on the tricep. So you ease it up slow, and you block him at the top of the range right there. So you can go and pedal to the ground, slightly higher then, good, go ahead and push down. So for one, two, three, up slow, good. Down, one, two, three, two, good. And one, two, three, three, firm wrist, good, firm wrist. One, two, three, four, right there. And one, two, three, five. So I'm keeping the scap in check, the shoulders in check. One, two, three, six, because we'll tend. One, two, three, seven, to open up as it gets heavy, he starts losing position. So if I'm out there blocking, he's going to start going too high, he'll go too darn short, or go too damn high. So uh, lock in that range, make sure it's nice and clean and consistent the whole time. So I'm letting him go slightly higher than parallel there. Bam. One, two, three, bam. One, two, three. And I'm checking in here to make sure this isn't opening too much, because as it gets heavy, it's going to start falling apart. Good. Again, thumbs around the bar if possible there. Get relaxed. And notice the wrist. You can actually get a better tricep extension or contraction with the wrist slightly turned up. But with these frail people clients that we see, it's just a better to keep a nice firm wrist to develop wrist strength as well. So you're not going to lose anything substantial as long as you have that aggressive position there and lock down all the way. But I would teach nice firm wrist there and don't let them go soft and weak in that wrist there with the weight yank the wrist up. So um, that'd be the basics of the tricep. But let's go over a few bad patterns real quick. So open up and lean forward and do it real quick and stand real straight and tall. That's what this will look like. So that's slightly aggressive, but that's how a lot of people end up. And, that, and most people, at okay, first glance, this without looking at the first style, would think that's absolutely fine. But you can see the shoulders are slightly rolled forward. It's not working good posture. His scalp are definitely open in the back side, and uh, he's not getting his elbows are slightly bent. You can see from the front side here, he's got a slight bend in the elbow. If they're rotated forward and contracted, but it's more that front head of the tricep. So he pulls back, you can bring in both pieces and lock that into the front, but he needs to get his hips back in order to do it. So that would be uh, one of the most basic, obvious uh, problems, but uh, you've seen a million different uh, disgusting looking versions of the tricep push down. But that would be the basic.